Hello everybody, it's Barbara and welcome to Pick a Stack Wednesday. We're sitting outside again. It's a beautiful day. It rained and now everything is lush and green and, and springy and I didn't even have hostas up two days ago and now they're, they're about six, seven inches tall. Just like, pew. there's definitely a shift going on. And yes, it can be seen as the normal spring shift, but it's more than that. There's an energetic shift. I'm sure you guys have felt it. Um, high highs and low lows. Um, I've been doing lots of crying and it's not mine. I know the tears aren't mine. I'm crying for the world. Um, but if you feel super emotional, um, if you feel pulled in one direction and then pulled in another direction, um, if, you, if you're experiencing body aches and pains, there's, there's so much going on and it's hard to process all of it because that's what we're used to doing, right? We're used to processing everything. Like, why does this hurt? And why are my ears ringing? And why do I have this weird headache? And why is my chest tight, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's these energies. And our job is just to take a deep breath and go, I got this. I don't need to be medicated for most of this, okay? I mean, there's, there's some people out there that need to be medicated for some things. But no, you're not going crazy. Um, be kind to yourself. And where we hurt is usually where there's resistance. So if you hurt in your heart, it's because you're resisting the love energies. If you hurt in your legs, it's because you're resisting movement. Um, so pay attention to where you hurt and then ask yourself, what does that part of my body do? Or what am I blocking that from happening? Okay. Um, you're not going crazy though. Okay. I just want to make sure that you know that you're not going crazy. I'm going to grab the singing bell. It is pick a stack day today. If you're new to pick a stack, this is what we do here. You think of an idea, issue, or question pertaining to yourself, your loved ones, your community, or the world, and then you choose a stack. And the stack was shown in the original picture. Um, because I do this outside, I don't have them set out in front of me. They're actually on the table right there on, a, on the very corner because the whole table's wet. And I will show you the stacks. Stack one is the beautiful Spirit Song Tarot deck. Stack two is the Chakra deck. This is an Oracle deck. And stack three is the Dragon Wisdom deck. Okay, so you get to choose a deck and we will see what the card is for that deck. And hopefully it has something to do with what your question was. So we're gonna ask the spirit guides that work in the light, that live in the light, um, for one card from each deck And it's this one. Ooh. I like doing that. Ooh. So, from the Spirit Song deck, stack number one, you get card number 15. Now, 15, that's that's Major Arcana. Um, one plus five is six. Six can be the card of love. It can be the card of man. And that means mankind, humankind. And it's the shadow card. In other decks, this is called the moon. And um, a lot of times when you get this card, it's like whatever your question is, whatever you're thinking of, there's something going on behind the scenes or you need to at least look behind the scenes. Um, think about when the moon is full, like the last full moon that was so powerful. Oof, duh. That was a tough one. I'm sure you guys, most of you are, have experienced 
this past week to be, um, I'm going to say interesting at the very least. Um, I've had people say it's been very rough. I've had so many low frequency people come into my shop in the last week. It's weird. A um, lot of crabbiness out there. A lot of, if you go out and about, whether you're shopping or at work or even just in a park, um, you notice that a lot of people are just acting a little different, agitated, unhappy, um, anxious. Even our pets are feeling it. Althea has been so barky this past week. Um, and the dogs across the street too, so they've set each other off. Um, so the, this card is saying, whatever your question is, look behind the scenes. My guides just showed me a play. Okay, so out front you have all the actors. But behind the scenes, you have the stage manager and you have, you know, maybe the person who's in charge of costumes and the person who's in charge of lighting and the person who's in charge of props and the person who's in charge of blah, 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 blah. Okay? So you have all these people behind the scenes. And sometimes there's even more people behind the scenes than on the stage. So you're supposed to look behind the scenes. It doesn't mean there's something bad going on. It just means pay attention to what's going on in the background. It's kind of like, you know, having her in the background and, and maybe the garbage man or, or birds or whatever. There's things going on behind the scenes that we might not be aware of that we need to pay attention to. Maybe, you know, if, if we're thinking about that, that scenario of the play, maybe the, the costume designer passed out and we need to get her some help. Um, maybe the person who has the script dropped all the pages and they ended up all over, all over the floor and they need to be picked up in a coherent way. You know, there's something going on. I'm not saying somebody needs your help behind the scenes, but there's something behind the scenes that you need to pay attention to or you need to be aware of. Um, it's easy to focus on the players on the stage because they're out front. But just remember, there's things going on in the background. Um, now, it can also mean there is somebody or something that's happening um, that's not for your highest and greatest good. Um, something is trying to trip you up. Someone is trying to trip you up. Maybe there's jealousy. Um, so whatever your question is, you need to go behind the scenes. You need to look in the darkness. You need to look in the shadows. You need to look behind the curtain. There's something important going on there. That, that's what they just said. There's something important going on behind that curtain. You need to be aware of it so that you can deal with whatever your issue is. Okay. I hope that helps somebody. I feel like there's, I'm speaking to one person. I don't know who it is, but there's one person that really, really needs to do this. So hopefully you got the message. So that was stack number one. Let us do some singing bell. All right, if you chose stack number two, we have the Chakra Reading Deck. Oh, it's so beautiful outside. Thank you, little bird. Okay. So, ooh, we got card number 33. 33 is a master number, very powerful. It's like a message from the universe. It means ascended masters are watching over you. And this card says angels and masters. So let's see what the book says about card number 33. Interestingly, 
3 plus 3 adds up to 6. We have another 6. This is the Soul Star Chakra. Now, the Soul Star Chakra is, here's the crown. The Soul Star is the one that's out there. It connects us to, let's just say, the universe. You have called this powerful card into your awareness today to remind you that the angels and ascended masters are with you at this time. We all have loving beings from the spirit world guiding and offering wisdom and healing as we take our life journey. At different times, angels come in to assist and offer specific messages and guidance. You may have been experiencing difficulties, and who hasn't, and challenges of late, and the angels want you to know that you are not alone. We're never alone. Please don't ever think you're alone. You are not alone. Oh, see, now I lost my, my place. <laughs> and that they are doing everything in their power to assist you from the spirit world. You are also being guided at this time by the Ascended Masters. The Ascended Masters are souls that resonate on a higher vibrational plane of existence and hold within them the divine power, love, and wisdom of the universe. They have individual jobs to fulfill in the universe and have unique energies and gifts to share and offer. For example, Mother Mary holds and resonates the energy of divine love and compassion. She is so wonderful to call on. You may like to find out more information on the masters and tune into your spirits to see who is guiding you at this time. A lot of times people will ask me, well, who's my spirit guide or who's my animal spirit guide? And you have to remember that you have many and it's more like which one is working with me right now because maybe last week I was working with a lion because I needed strength and this week I'm working with a rabbit because they represent no fear so same thing with our ancestors sometimes you know it's my grandma sometimes it's my great grandma sometimes it's my grandpa sometimes it's my brother Sometimes it's one of my kids, you know, so it's whoever we need at the time. And the thing is, you don't have to know who it is you need to call on. You can just say, okay, is everybody watching over me from the light and everybody who loves me and guides, guards and protects me. I really need help today. I need strength or I need help me get through the day. Just help me get through today. The one who needs to be with you will be with you you don't need to say grandma I know you're the one I mean you don't have to in our 3d world we always have to have answers for everything in the higher realms we don't have to have the answers they have the answers we just have to have faith that's all just faith hey I need help today help me guys and then the right one will help you you also have archangels around you Archangels are powerful light beings that are here to guide you and assist you in your life right now. You are encouraged to take a little time out from your everyday world and go within to connect with these beautiful, loving guides that have an abundance of love and wisdom to share with you. And again, you don't need to know which one to talk to. Say to all the angels and archangels who live in the light, help! Thank you for helping me. This is what I have going on in my life. Help me get through this. Help me make this the best whatever it can be. That's all you gotta do. Know that they have your back and you have nothing to worry about. You know, I think about my trip last year to South Dakota and when my, my bus broke down, I was never scared and I never worried. I just talked to my guides. It was a beautiful day like today. And I was in this tiny little town. Had a, a bar, cafe, gas station. That was one building and that was it. And the people were so nice and I just kept praying, you know, 
I keep talking to my son. I'm talking to the angels. I'm talking to the ascended masters. And, you know, it was just this wonderful day. And this wonderful man came and fixed my bus. And then somebody told me about this really cool um, campground. It was, it was like, it was divine. We were supposed to break down there. It was okay. But again, you don't have to worry. You don't have to get all anxious. Because what are you going to do? I mean, getting anxious and worrying, what does that actually help you? It helps you with nothing. It just hurts your body physically and emotionally. So know that all these higher dimensional beings have your back. Um, you are blessed and protected always. Your prayers have been answered. You're not alone. Take a moment to hand over any stress or concerns to these beautiful angels from the light and these ascended masters from the light and have them transmute your low frequency emotions, your low frequency energies. They'll transmute them into something positive. Fill your heart and mind with love and healing. And you know, one of the things that you can do, Mama Earth and the trees are basically transmuters. That's their job here. Yes, they make oxygen for us. That's a transmutation. But also, if you talk to a tree, and I'm pointing this way because there's a big tree right there behind me. Um, if you talk to those trees, and make it be a big tree, okay? The young trees, you know, they're still working on themselves. But these big old trees, they're here to help us. Lay your hands on that tree and say, you know, tree, I have a bunch of yucky stuff I really need to get rid of. Will you please take it from me? Take it from me through my hands. And then after you can feel the things leaving you, then send love into the tree. It's so simple. It costs nothing. The tree will transmute it. Basically, the tree sends it down into Mama Earth. It's transmuted into soil and stones and rocks and crystals, compost, stuff for worms to eat. You don't have to deal with it. Let them deal with it. Okay, that was stack number two. Soul Star Chakra. That is our connection to those higher dimensional beings. Once you become aware of the fact that you have that chakra outside of here, you become more connected to out there, which is a really cool place to be. All right, let's put these away. And let's move on to stack number three after we do the singing bell. We kind of lost our sunshine. Hmm. It's okay. I just felt this little cool wave come in. All right, stack number three. Let's see what the dragons have to say. I actually grabbed my other dragon oracle deck this morning, and the dragon said, no, not that one. I was like, okay. This is the one that wants to speak today. Isn't that interesting? Now these are not numbered, but the description is on page number 22, which is also a master number and a message from the universe. Now, interestingly, this looks like a chocolate dragon to me, but it is the card of death. Now, look at the face on that dragon. That does not look like, I mean, he looks like he's actually happy. So let's see what the book says. 
Wisdom is a gift and a blessing. The old tree dragon, oh my, we were just talking about trees and I said the bigger trees, which are the older trees. The old tree dragon wishes to enrich you with wisdom and an understanding of death. Death is everywhere. Death happens all the time and is part of life. Perform an exercise with the wise tree dragon. Begin by cleansing your room and lighting some candles. Play some pleasant instrumental music. Call the old tree dragon to your room. Actually, I think after this is over, I'm going to sit out here and I'm going to call this old tree in um, and the tree dragon that's associated with it. So you can do this outside as well. Um, so call the old tree dragon. Visualize it appearing to you. Connect with it by binding light-filled light filled threads between all your chakras. So I'm going to say that again. Connect with the old tree dragon by binding light filled threads between all your chakras. Ask the dragon for its wisdom, for understanding of life and death. And then pause a while to breathe in harmony with this magical being. Understand that you say yes to life with every intake of breath and that something dies with each exhalation. Think about that. When I inhale, it's life, it's spring. When I exhale, that's the letting go. Those, those, everything that was in my mouth that I just exhaled out is now out there. They're no longer with me. So it's like a little mini death of those things from my perspective because everything's relative, right? It's all about perspective. Understand that when you love deeply, it also involves death. Death, excuse me, love brings about a melting and a melding and you are no longer the same person as before. When you're single, and then you fall in love with somebody. You're no longer single. All of a sudden you're with this other person and there's that melding of the two people. So it's not like a, a part of you dies, but a part of you no longer is, which is like a little death. Um, the ego, when you get rid of the ego, that is a little death. The birds are giving me affirmations. Let energy flow between you and the tree dragon. Recognize that the highest divine source is revealed in love and in death. Recognize that there is a divine part within you that has no fear of death as it is aware of its own immortality. We are immortal beings. It's just we're in this physical body which is temporary, but the us that's inside here, we're immortal. We go on and on and on and on and on. This is why we have past life or other life regressions because we've lived before. I remember living so many lives. Some I want to remember, some not so much. But this card is talking about the letting go of things, of people, of events, of our past. I am not my past. My past does not define me, but my past set the foundation for the person that I am right now. And so every day when we wake up in the morning, the yesterday version of us died so that this version can be alive today. Does that make sense? We got to let go of the yesterdays. Let go of those mistakes we think we made. They're not really mistakes. They're just opportunities to learn. And we learn so much when we do things that we shouldn't do. <laughs> this is why I'm divorced. <laughs> 
Anyway, wise old tree dragon. Talk to the wise old tree dragon. Help me understand this cycle of life and death. And you know, another thing that just came to me is, are you alive? Like, are you truly, truly alive? Or are you just existing? Do you feel alive? I know right now we're in this transition phase because of the energies, but we still need to feel alive. What makes you feel alive? Are you dead inside? This message, again, this is for somebody. If you're feeling dead inside, do something to help you feel more alive, to help you feel the joy that's in your heart. It's in there. It's like a little pilot light. It's still lighted. It's just this little tiny light. It's waiting for you to bring in some joy and you bring in the joy. Okay, don't wait for somebody else to bring joy to you. We have to, we make our own joy. So again, you can talk to the wise old tree dragon and say, help me find some joy. The hummingbirds are all about joy. Talk to the hummingbird spirit guides. Thank you, hummingbird spirit guides. Help me find some joy. Help me. I, the same old things just don't bring me joy anymore. Help me find some joy. Who knows? Maybe it's going to the park. Going to the lake. We have, we have lakes everywhere. So I can literally go, uh, I think it's like six blocks. And there's a lake over there. You can sit out on the, on the, the benches or on the little pier and just watch the ducks and the geese and the, watch the water. Whatever flips your cookie, okay? But I highly suggest you get out in nature, even if it's just sitting out on your patio. Uh, you know, I'm sitting on my patio right now and all I see is all these leaves that I need to, to rake up again because of this glorious big old tree. Um, to me, doing something like that is enjoyable because I'm outside. It doesn't mean you have to do anything though. It, it could mean you just need to be outside. Or maybe you have some art project that you've set aside. Pick it back up. Be creative. Maybe it's just as simple as, hey, I gotta paint my kitchen. Okay, put good music on. Kind of dance around a little bit. Enjoy it. Whatever it is you need to do, find some joy in it. Make the joy, okay? Um, we need to be alive in these bodies, especially right now. Because, you know, it's this world is as hard as you make it. It's not hard for me because I don't make it. I don't listen to all the BS out there in the mainstream media telling me how hard everything is. No, I decide, no, it's easy. Um, you're the creator of your reality. It's all you. So be accountable for your reality. Pick up your paintbrush. Pick up your sewing machine. Pick up whatever it is that you need to do to be creative. Put on your hiking shoes. Heck, put on your bathing suit. If you're brave enough to... I think, you know, in northern Minnesota, there's still ice on the lakes. But you know what? That's healthy. Jump in a frozen lake. I'm not going to be with it. I'm not going to do it with you. Just saying. If that's what makes you happy, do it. All right. That was our pick-a-stack today. You guys, I love you. You're the reason I do what I do. I am sending you blessings of love, light, peace, joy, happiness, success, divine health, and all good things. Because I know we are all worthy. And we all deserve good things. And we all need to be alive. Mwah. Have a blessed day, my beautiful soul family. Namaste.